Okay, I'm about to uh, drill this hole. So I'm going to uh, approximate right where the other one is. It's right about there. And I'm um, going to get a punch. I got this set up, about to uh, attempt to drill this hole. Alright, I'm using this center punch to uh, start that hole. I need to get a tripod. My other tripod broke, so I can't really film this very good. Alright, I'm using a little bit of uh, compressor oil to lubricate this. And uh, I've got a little tiny hole started. I, I use the smallest drill bit. And I'm going as slow as I can. And getting that hole started. Okay, here it is, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I finally got a hole drilled through one of these bolts. I've uh, been working on this stuff all day. Went and bought some uh, pack of drill bits. Um, I broke off some bits inside of there, almost all the way through. So I had to go buy two more bolts. I did that on two bolts and then third time I finally figured out how to make it work. Uh, now I have a shorter one that I started working on. But this was a stainless bolt. These are grade 5 bolts. And this one's a stainless. And uh, the guy told me that uh, you're going to have a lot of trouble drilling through stainless. So I went ahead and bought a grade 5 bolt instead of a stainless. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and Drill out the next one, see if we can do it. Alright, well, there's three that I broke the bit off inside already. So I have the one done, so I know it's uh, it's not impossible, so I'm going to keep on trying, get one more, and see if we do the next one. Okay, finally got it. After about three failures, I got it on the fourth bolt. And I uh, went through about 15 drill bits, had to go back up to Harbor Freight twice, had to go back up to the fastener store twice, three times actually. But uh, yeah, 6 o'clock, and uh, this whole day was spent just making these bolts. So, had to be done. Now I can hook up my uh, steering linkage to my spindles and get that thing rolling. Alright, I got my... Uh, torsion bar boots in the mail. I think these are a little bit overpriced, but uh, it's one of those things you just got to bite the bullet. All right, with uh, everything ready to go, I'm ready to put these steering knuckles in, and uh, it's going to be a two handed job, so I'll be right back. Alright, I got these uh, lower control arm bumpers, so I'll see if those fit. Okay, these uh, lower control arm bumpers fit just right, and uh, I got to pick up a nut and a lock washer to tighten that on there, and these will stop this uh, suspension from bottoming out on, on this uh, pad right here, so it's looking good. Alright, it was uh, back up to Ace Hardware three times, but I finally got the correct size washer that I need for these ball joints. And I'm ready to try and install that spindle. Alright, I got that steering knuckle in there. Got uh, all the washers put on both sides and uh, the cotter pins. Got that shock bolt in there with washers and a nylock nut. And uh, this thing moves nice. Uh, so next thing I'm going to put on are these uh, strut rods that attach to the front of the frame. 
All right, back from Ace Hardware again for the fourth time today. Got these uh, bolts that I need for the strut rods. Uh, some washers that I need to finish up the steering knuckles. And uh, some nuts and washers to install those lower control arm bumpers. I spent about 15 at Ace. Getting ready to install this uh, their lower control arm. I got it all greased up with anti-seize to keep the rust off all that bare metal. And I'm going to put it in over here. Alright, I got this other lower control arm installed. And I'm uh, getting ready to put this torsion bar in here. I'm going to coat all the inside there where there's bare metal with some anti-seize to keep the rust out of there. Okay, I got this... Uh, torsion bar greased up with some anti-seize got the boot ready to go uh, put some more anti-seize on the inside of this uh, anchor torsion bolt anchor and I'm getting ready to bolt that down okay I struggled to uh, get these anchors onto these torsion bars and to bolt them down there uh, so I went inside and checked through the service manual and found that uh, each torsion bar is separate there's a left and a right and it's marked right on the end. So now I should be able to get these things together. All right, I got my first anchor installed. Uh, you gotta make sure you get this uh, curved washer oriented correct way on the underside. And then uh, you tighten it down on this barrel. And uh, you have to make sure, according to the manual, that uh, the threads are sticking up above that thing about one inch. So, I've got it pretty much close to one inch. And that's going to adjust your ride height. So, looking good on there. Got the boot installed. I'm ready to do the next one. Okay, I got uh, this one set to exactly an inch. And uh, all I got left to do is to put these uh, retainer clips in here. Good to go.